Welcome back to Just Scribble. So recently I unboxed and shared my plotter, which is a super slim ring bound like planner system, analog system. And so I unboxed my Bible sized plotter, which I'm actually using for my social media planner, like on the go for like my just rough notes and thoughts and like my brain all about my brand and so I bought the Bible size plotter for that and when I bought this plotter I also bought their mini plotter which is similar in size to a passport notebook and so I also bought this one and I bought them in two different leathers so they have two different metal finishes on them and I did a full video on these and so I will put a link to that up in the cards above. Around the same time that I ordered my plotters I also placed another order with a company on Etsy called Woozy that sells basically the same product like a similar super slim 10 millimeter ring size planner binder. So I placed an order with Woozy at roughly the same time and it came in. It's actually been here sitting in our house for quite a while because I have been sick so I haven't been able to unbox but I did order from Woozy and I ordered some additional binders and then I also ordered a couple of other things and so I wanted to unbox this and share it with you guys. So I'm going to take out everything. They bubble wrapped everything and packaged it so nicely. So I'm going to take everything out and then we're going to check out my order. Okay, so my order from Woozy came in these two really nice boxes. They have this unique like raw paper finish on them and then they have words on them. Lay a solid foundation and the time will come for you to shine. So that's like their little motto on there. And in here are my orders. So I'm going to take the lid off of here so we can check out what I got. So I did get their seal. Plotter has one of these as well, but it's their certificate of authenticity for the leather. And then they also sent they also sent a thank you from Woozy Studio and they sent a sample card that has samples of their leathers on it. They feel so nice. So I got two sample cards, my authenticity, a little card about the notebooks, and then that has on it a magnetic page marker. So I got two of those, one with this like swan on it, and one that looks like a butterfly wing. So I got those little freebies. And then these have my order in it. And like I said, I ordered some more binders. While I was doing that, I ordered some other things. So we're gonna take everything out and check out what I got. And I probably will be placing another order with them because one of the binder sizes that they offer was out of stock. And so if it restocks, I want to get um, the third size, but I did get two binders and two traveler's notebooks. They are all wrapped in this beautiful sort of velvet bag with their like brand on there. They feel really, really nice. And then I did also add these snap closures. I thought these were really fun and unique. I got them in, I think this is natural and these are cognac. I ordered two in the darker and then one in the lighter. I will put everything that I ordered, like the actual names and leathers and all that down in the description box. But I thought these were very unique and fun. So I ordered these Oops, but I ordered these closures. Let me get it out of here. And so it has two pieces, your little snap piece here and then your back piece, and it has adhesive on it. So you peel this off and you put this on the front of your notebook and it snaps closed. And then you put that adhesive on the back and you now have a snap closure 
on your notebook. So if you have a leather planner cover or journal cover that doesn't have a snap closure and you want a snap closure, you just kind of basically glue these on and you have a snap closure. I just thought it was really cool. It did come with extra adhesive, so two extra pieces of the round adhesive, two extra rectangular ones, so there are extra pieces of the adhesive. And then it does have like instructions on the back. But I thought this was very fun and unique. I hadn't seen this from any other shop, so I decided to order those. So I got three of these adhesive leather closures. And then I ordered two of the ring binders and then two traveler's notebooks. So we're gonna open the traveler's notebooks first because these were just kind of an add on thing. I just thought they were really cool and I was really drawn to them. So I decided to snag them. So this is the first one and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about these because they may look kind of funky right now, but they are so cool. And then this is the other one. Let me move this out of the way for just a second. So these are standard size traveler's notebooks. I think they also had a passport, but I bought these in standard size. And these are a ghost wax and it is super cool. So I'm gonna show you a picture from their website, but this one is a pink ghost wax. And then this one is a purple. They also offer blue and they offer green, but I was really drawn to the pink and the purple. They are a single elastic TN. They come with the elastic on here and then the closure elastics are in these little bags. And so you put the closure elastic on yourself because it came with some extra pieces. It came with like a little leather charm in the shape of a heart and I love hearts. So it came with a little heart charm and a little heart leather charm and then a little metal moon charm and then a piece of leather that basically goes around here and you can use it to just protect the edges of where the elastic goes or you can use it to hold a pen. And then it came already like barbed so it's easy to put on. And this one came with this gray color and then this, the pink one came with brown. So it came with all the closure stuff to put them together. And then it also came with a notebook. This is grid, they're both grid notebooks. They have a really pretty cover with some foiling on it. It has a ruler on the back and then it has their brand on it. This is not Tomoe River paper. It kind of feels, it's not quite as slick, but it kind of reminds me of Jaboon paper. It has a teeny tiny grid, but it came with these two millimeter grid notebooks. So it came with a notebook to get you started. But what is super cool about these is the leather. So like I said, these are ghost wax leathers. And so this is the pink one and when you use them as your hands rub on them and they rub in your bags and all the things the leather will change it's an italian veg tanned leather and the color will change over time and so it will look like this now or like the pink one will look like this now and then after a year it will change to this color and the blue one after a year will change to this color and so they change dramatically as you use them. And I just thought that was super, super cool. It was just a really fun, different leather and I wanted to try it out. So like I said, it comes in pink, mint green, purple, and blue. And I got the pink and the purple. The purple is a little bit more blue or gray in color than I had expected. Like I thought it would be more noticeably purple just from the photos. I know as I use it, it will become more purple and you can kind of see it on there. But that is what their ghost leather is. And that's what I bought because I wanted to like see this dramatic transformation. I just thought it was a really fun thing to have. So I'm actually probably going to set up the pink one first and I'm going to store the purple one away because the purple one feels more like fall to me. And so I plan on saving this one. So I'm gonna put it back in this little velvet bag. 
but I'm planning on saving this one. But I'm planning on setting up this one, probably not with their insert. I'll probably save that as well. Um, I got a couple of inserts from the Coffee Monsters Co. from her like anniversary sale, and they're very pink and girly, and I think that they would look really cute in this. And so I think I'm going to put them in here so that I can journal, and I will put the um, elastic on it and the tags and all the things. So I will share a picture of that over on Instagram at justscribble.yt when I have it set up. I'll do a, like a little reel and kind of do a flip through and show you guys how that's set up. And I will post it here on YouTube as a short. But these were kind of my little add on aside. I just thought that they were so fun. So I ordered these two traveler's notebooks and then I ordered two of their binders. So the first binder that I ordered, I ordered in what they call an A6 size, and it is similar in size to the Plotter Bible. So it is slightly narrower, but pretty similar in size. So one difference is it doesn't have the metal bar, it goes all the way down, instead it's just on the tips. And then these are no name brand rings, whereas the Plotter is Krauss rings. So these are not that much less expensive than the plotter but it was a little bit less expensive and then it did come with which i didn't know it would it did come with the protector for your rings and i had actually bought an extra protector and when i bought them from plotter i actually thought that i had bought a second one in this tiny size that's actually what i thought i bought but now i remember <laughs> in hindsight that it was out of stock and so I bought this size because I kind of wanted to check out their sizes and how they compare to Plotter. But I did buy this one in their Puebla leather in like the dark chocolate brown color. I put the exact names down below. But this leather is the same as this leather from, from Plotter. So these are the same leather, just in two different colors. They do feel quite similar. This one feels a little bit more oily like it has a higher oil content in it, but that could also be the color. And so what's special about this Puebla leather is that it has texture in it, as you can see, but as you use it, that will kind of like buff off and smooth and it will get super smooth and shiny. So I was really excited about this leather from both brands just because it changes so much over time, but they do have the ring protector just like they have from Plotter, but the leather is thicker on the Woozy. So I probably should put this on the other way. So I actually think that the Woozy one will protect your outside leather a little bit better than the Plotter one will because it's a thicker piece of leather. But it's meant to just protect this part so that you don't get the indentions from the rings as quickly. You will eventually over time, but it just kind of protects that a little bit. And so you, you'll get like an indention on here as you use this more and it just kind of slows that process down but not a lot just a little bit so I did buy this one in what I said is their a6 size it is stamped there their brand and it is roughly the same size as the one that I got from plotter that is Bible size so I bought this and then I bought this red one. I could not pass it up, guys. Like, I wanted to get their A5 size, and so I wanted to get one in A5 size, and I wanted to get one in their Minerva box leather, just because it was a different leather, and I wanted to check it out. And I was so drawn to this red. Like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I bought the red, and it's gorgeous. It has like fat rolls and color variations. It has a little bit of texture. It's so pretty. It's a little bit firmer. It has a really smooth interior. It's got their stamp there. And then this one actually has cross rings. So you can see that there. And I believe that these are 15 millimeter rings, whereas this one and the plotters are 10 millimeter rings. But yeah, so you can see how freaking tiny these little rings are. Those are 10 millimeter rings. And the A5 has 15 millimeter rings. Still really, really tiny, but bigger than my plotters and bigger than this one. 
and I am so excited for this. Now, truth be told, um, I bought it because I wanted to try the bigger A5 size and I thought it'd be better to try it for Moozy because it was a little bit less expensive than a plotter and also they had like a fun, unique color and I really loved this red. But I don't have a full set purpose for this planner well, or binder. Well, I didn't. I didn't have a plan for it. I have since come up with a plan for it, but I'm not setting it up quite yet because I have tabs ordered from Gracie Edits and I'll set it up once those come. But this is actually going to be kind of like my goal planner or that's my plan. I'm going to turn this into my goal planner. I am currently reading, well I just started yesterday, but I'm currently reading the 12 week year and I'm really inspired by some people that I have seen that are using that and how it has helped them in their pro productivity in their personal life and then also in their professional careers. And so I'm really intrigued about that concept and I also really like implementing pieces of like the bullet journal and I've thought about implementing like Alistair and some other like productivity planning methods into my overall planning and my goal setting and all the things. And so I thought that it would be kind of nice to have a binder to kind of hold all of that. And so that's what this is going to be. It's not going to be for like notes from reading the books. It may be like it may have some notes from it, like templates and, and how I want to lay things out in my planners and kind of getting things out of my head and onto paper, but it's not going to be like my reading notes. I actually have Astology that I'm using for that. So it's not going to be for that, but it's more going to be for keeping track of the goals in my 12 week years for, so for each of the years and then some like long-term goals that we have and things like that. So I have some tabs ordered from Gracie edit. She sells two types of tabs that are super, super, super thin. And they're one of them is her um, glossy vellum and the other is her transparent tear resistant, but they're really, really thin. So they aren't going to bulk up these tiny, tiny ring systems. And right now I'm just using a piece of acetate that I punched myself and then I just put like uh, post-it note tabs on temporarily so that I have tabs to use in this particular planner. But I ordered tabs for this one, which is my social media Just Scribble brand uh, binder. So I ordered some tabs for this one, a set of six um, that I'm gonna be putting in there. And then I ordered a four set or a set of four for this because this is gonna be for like lists and quotes and like random ideas and notes like on the go, just like a, a notebook to jot things down in. And so I wanted to have some sections in there. So I ordered some tabs for that as well. And then I ordered tabs for this one. And so once those tabs come in, I'll do an unboxing of the tabs and talk to you about the sections that I created. And then we'll set this binder up together with those because um, I'm not gonna be using this quite yet because I'm still reading the book and kind of getting my bearings. But my plan is for this to be my goal setting binder. Um, I have in the past started to set up like an Archer and Olive book for goals, which I got it all laid out and how I wanted to put it um, with gel pens because it was like blackout paper and so how I wanted to set it up. But then I realized that I can't use it over time because it was limited in the number of pages and so it was only going to last me for like the year or if that maybe even only just a half year because it didn't have that many pages and I think a binder system is going to be a good fit for a goal planning system because I can take pages in and out and I can move things around and add it to it but I also don't want a regular binder because they're so bulky and I just don't enjoy them and I have really enjoyed the slimness of my plotter so far like it feels like holding a book bound a bound book in my hand and the rings are so small they don't get in the way when I'm writing and it also prevents me from putting too much stuff into the binder and so I think this is a better fit than a disc bound planner even though I love disc bound 
I had think with a dustpan, I'm going to put too much stuff in there and I need it to be just very efficient, right? Um, a, just a slim streamlined goal planner. So this is going to be for goals. This is for like notes on the go to toss into my purse lists and things like that. And then this is my social media brand planner. And then now I have a second one so I can change out the cover if I want to use this one instead of that one. I'm still not sure whether I want to stay in the black one for now or if I want to move into the woozy for now um, during summer and then move into the black one. I'm not sure. I really like the black one with the rose gold, but then this is really fun too because it's gonna change over time. So we'll have to see. I do, however, have I do have a band lifter from Plotter that I bought for the A5 size. So since I was buying from Plotter anyways, I decided to add one of these to my order for this one. And so I am going to keep this in here. I do think ultimately I'll probably end up making my own so that I can put like prettier elastic on it. But for right now, I like the fact that these are already made for me. Same reason I ordered my tabs from Gracie Edits. Like I could cut my own tabs out of vellum or acetate and put labels on them, but I really honestly just don't have the time right now. So I'm taking advantage of supporting these shops and ordering from them. So I got this plotter band lifter and so, which is awesome. It keeps your binder closed and literally one-handed you can open up your binder. It's really easy to use and super functional. I'm really enjoying it on my Bible size, so I definitely wanted to have one for this size as well, and I think it looks really pretty on that red. But that is my unboxing from Woozy. I wanted to share with you guys my new binders. I'll probably end up calling these plotters, even though they're not actually plotter brand, just because I don't really know what else to call them. But that's my unboxing. I got, oops, I got these glue on, snap closures just because I thought they'd be fun and there are some folios and stuff I don't have closures on and I think it would be nice to add leather to them so I got those I got these really fun ghost leather travelers notebooks I'm really excited about I just think it was just a really unique fun leather so I thought that would be fun to journal in and then the main reason for my order were my two binders so like I said this one they call it a six size but it is pretty close to the Bible size from Plotter. And then this one is a five size. So that is my unboxing and my share from Woozy. If you have any questions about what I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.